Now, you may have the need to create security groups within RB, and that's to further give permissions in the system to be specific to departments. So you may have a calendar department, you may have a production department, a billing department, so forth. And each user that works in those particular departments is to have specific accessibility to the functions within RB. Well, that's what creating security groups will allow you to do. So if we click on security groups, the first thing you'll be able to do is to create as many security groups as you want. So as an example, I have a billing department. So I want to create a billing security group. So what I want to do is click on new at the top, right? And give the group a name. That's the most important thing. So I'll call it billing. And the description can be billers uh, security group. And click save. Now two sections will appear, the members section as well as the accessibility. Members are the users that belong to this particular security group. So let me add my billers in this example. So I'll click the add button and I'll check off. So this will show you all of your active user accounts in RB. So I'll check off a couple of my billers here and click save. Now they belong to this particular security group. So the access that they actually have all pertains to the accessibility over to the right. This particular section shows you every single function inside of RB. So what you'll want to do is simply start unchecking or checking the particular functions. So if this is a biller and I didn't want them to have access to the production stuff, then theoretically I could take away the ability for them to see production sheets, labels, the shipping, the letters, so forth and so on, as you can see right here. So whatever I'm unchecking, those are particular functions that they will not have access to. And you'll also notice that some of these particular functions have further edits and delete capabilities as well. So you can give someone access to a particular function, but uncheck edit and delete. So basically that'll give them access to see the data only. So it's being read only access. Once you're done unchecking or checking the functions that the group should have access to, go ahead and click save. And then you can move on and create the next security group as you need.